Listening to the Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. The Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Report. Live only on Pinax TV. Okay, so Sabra Minoka saying there's a whole lot of things at El Corso, El Ghana. Just recently we saw occupied Julobi protest at El Corso. And now I'm out for Bibri because there's something going on. If you don't know what is really going on, just another report about Burkina Faso. There was another coup d'etat attempt. Ah, eh, no, no. The current uh, coup d'etat uh, military or more so, no. Another coup d'etat na am kofo fufu fufu beso omu tu omu. But thankfully, you know, those people want more, more power, they were able to pre- uh, prevent that particular coup d'etat attack. And then, yeah, that's what I could feel through a character and say, the president and his whole cohorts, and the one more we try to win, they should be very careful. Because this occupied Jilobi house, you know, it's not just a protest. There's a deeper meaning into it. Now, also what say, on my own, we will be doing this, we will be doing this, we will be doing this, we will be and the Sikan and Grofu via ministers, Sikan or Mude Shom with them. Now, at the end of the day, Omudi CC in Pansi USP Bisa, Omusu is Kana Media. They can't give accountability at any. There's a day coming now. What you are seeing is going to be more than what you are seeing. In some of you, do to join a Bibrinko tea, a bar. We'll give you more details into it. In the next 15 years, all the political leaders you see right now will be history. I'm telling you, you are going to see, you know, all kinds are going to emerge. Let me tell you, this occupied Jubilee House demo, don't take it see, don't take it lightly. You better take it serious. That is another emergence. You see those people out there? Don't take them for joke. Something is bubbling in our hearts. And that's something, if you don't take it, will explode. I'm telling you, what they are doing there is more dangerous than a coup. They are telling you they don't like the style of leadership. Dear the American, they can stand in a ring, they don't care, they can leave their jobs and don't joke with that too. There are mutinies all over. The Bible said kingdom will rise against kingdom. And nation shall rise against nation. Yeah, that is that. They are, you are seeing Matthew chapter 24. And you are seeing from verse number 5 and 6. That is what you are seeing. Yeah, in verse 6 the Bible make it very clear. Listen to how the Bible talk about the focus place. In the sixth verse the Bible is saying something and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Yeah, see that your heart is not troubled. In the seventh verse the Bible said and uh, the for nation will rise up against us. Put this in GNT. Let's follow you. In this one the Bible said countries will fight each other. Kingdoms will attack one another. There will be famines and earthquakes everywhere. Go and check Morocco's earthquake. Two dams burst in Libya and 22,000 people died in 24 hours. 24 hours! 22,000 people. They are history. You are living in the end time. You don't know I'm telling you. Whether you believe it or not, that's not the point. That's not the point. A paint bucket that was bought for 50 Ghana cities now is 230 Ghana. Small local paint bucket. 230 Ghana cities. The Bible calls it perilosity of times. And he's warning you, see that your heart is not troubled. This is the time to draw close to Jesus. This it's the time to draw close to Jesus and not nonsense. Not nonsense. The world, there are too many nonsensical things in the world right now. Too many. The things that are competing for our attention, my lady. Is, and, and this is the time that, you know, even listening to preaching, you must be very, very, very sensitive. Careful what you hear. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, what do you hear? You should be very, very, we need to censor. I'm telling you, because the generation wants to hear what they want to hear. Tell them what they want to hear. 
The Bible was talking about concerning sin. In uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, and uh, when he was talking about know this in, in the last days, that perilous times shall come from verse number one. For men will be lovers of themselves. They will be, you know, they will be covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And he goes further and said, without natural affection, covenant breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. In the fourth verse, he says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. So you are living in a generation where people are lovers of pleasure. They love parties, they love dinners, they love stuff like that. If there was a final Champions League match this morning, most of you will not be sitting here. Yeah, you are lovers of pleasure more than you have found new idols. You have found new idols. Idol worship is not, you know, when we put a, a, a stump of a tree and we are bowing down to idol worship, is concerning your heart, your motive, and your conscience. That is where idolatry is. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Many people have made their husbands idols and their wives idols. I'm dressed up. I'm coming to church. My husband says I'll eat fufu. He never ate the fufu when I was free walking about. I'm telling you the truth. The first sign and she swore. for nothing. First sign, and she swore. Who are you talking to? Who sent you that message? Who sent you that email? Who was the one you gave a lift? Listen, when you marry somebody, you've not bought them. They are not your property. Please. And I just, you know, funny, you know, mindset about so many Ghanaian men and even African men uh, that, that, you know, they feel like uh, if you are my wife, you are my some personal property or something like that, you know. And when they are talking, they are like, you, do you know how much money I spent on her? Stop the nonsense. Stop your nonsense. Do you know how much God has spent on you? Change your one no. Do you know how much more God has spent on you? And who said that if you spend on somebody, you should control them? That is Jezebelic. Jezebel. Control. Manipulation and control. Sit here. Don't go there. I won't allow you to go to church. I don't want you to go to that. That is manipulation. Jezebel. Jezebel. Do you know? I mean, some of these... Uh, honorable, do you know what they spend on their girlfriends? Huh? And I'm choosing my words very carefully because you know, I know very good honorables. I won't mention any name, but I know some very good honorables. So I'm saying some of these honorables. Do you know what they spend on their girlfriends? Two, three houses have they go. But for them. You just rented Chimbae Ho for a woman. I have spent money on him. Where is the Chimbae Ho Abekala Pass? Jensi Wunu. Jensi Wunu. What's up for you? Who bet you? Who bet you? Who did I bet you? I don't want to call a pass if it's any pass. I'm going to die for a cantonment. It's Legone, New York, any Amsterdam. No, they are not talking. You rented a house at La Paz and you are making a lot of noise. Do you think it is easy for a woman to open her legs? My career, my career. I can you. Oh, sorry, me and God. Yeah, pong. Yeah, pong. Yeah, pong. Yeah, pong. Yeah, pong. Yeah, pong.